A film that really, really inspires me. As soon as I saw it the first time in um, 2010, I guess, four years ago, I was so moved um, by Mark Hogenkamp, the central figure in the, in, the, in the film, by his resilience and by his uh, ability to create this, what he calls his self-therapy, mm -hmm. by creating this little village that he calls Marvin Call. And um, he, I just, it made me think a lot about the power of the imagination. It appealed to me. I was, it, that's a time in my life where I was, it was a difficult time in my life, and, and, um, and I was going to a lot of movies, because movies are the thing that, you know, kind of, sustain me and, <laughs> and inspire me and help me and and, uh, and this one just really had a powerful impact on me and I, I was telling everybody about it you know going on and on and Mark Hogenkamp is you know like I, I was saying before he's an artist he was an artist before before this attack occurred um, um, and he continues to be an artist and I just think and I can I can relate um, his art and my art are two different different things, obviously. But just in terms of creating that that world, a place where you can where you can make order from chaos, um, you know, make sense of the stuff that has happened in your life. Um, and so on that level, I just I, I so responded to you know to what he was doing, what he was attempting to do, how he can sort of avenge his attackers, but within uh, you know a, a fictional setting. Mm -hmm. And he can have love affairs, but within a fictional setting. And he can be the hero, and he can, you know, have all of these people that mean so much to him play these important roles in his stories. And and I think, to a certain degree, that's what I do as well with my writing. And and um, and yeah, with complicated kindness for sure. You know, creating a world that I could, based on my own life, and in a way that I could manipulate to to make more sense and to make something beautiful from. And I obviously didn't suffer, you know, the the horrific trauma that that um, Mark Hogenkamp suffered, but, you know, at, at the same time, I do understand that, that need to, you know, to sort of, to, 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 I guess, right certain wrongs or address certain injustices that are in the world, that are in my world or that have occurred in my world. And, um, yeah, I just, I just find there's so many parallels. And I think for all artists, for anybody trying to express something, to, um, you know, trying to, to make art, um, Hogenkamp is this, brilliant mentor and the fact that he doesn't it's so he's not self-conscious about it and it's not about um, commodification or you know or reward or praise or anything like that that's not why he does it you know he just does it because it helps him live Penn is, uh, is, a, is a wonderful organization that does amazing things for writers who have been exiled who have been imprisoned who have been tortured who have been silenced uh, um, all over the world, and, and um, that's something that here in Canada, I mean, where you know that doesn't happen to us as writers, um, and you know, and I think that we just have to stand in solidarity with you know our fellow writers who are suffering and um, who are being censored or silenced in whatever way, and and who are who are suffering, and so I just think it's a great organization.